Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Evan from PhotoExtremes.com, and t tonight we are outside, and it's pitch black, and it's snowing. What we're going to do is create some s special snow effects with our camera without using Photoshop. Now, I have an X21 LED lens or flashlight. This is a huge flashlight that's very good for light painting landscapes when you're doing photography at nighttime. So, I have my camera right here on a tripod. You can see it's just getting caked in snow right now. The shutter speed is at 5 seconds, the ISO is at 800, and the aperture is at 2.8. Now, what we're going to do is take the picture and we're going to flash the flashlight down that road while the exposure is taking place. And when you do that, you get a result where you can see the trails of the snow falling down to the ground. I also want to show you another effect that you can do with your camera. All you have to do is put it in manual focus, turn your flash on, and you'll see what the result is like. So let's see that right now. The flash is there. You take the picture, and you can even throw some flashlight in there too if you want to. And now you get that picture. You get the stationary snowflakes falling, the frozen ones and you also get the long exposure. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my camera on self timer. Okay? Timer. And I'm going to run out there and take a picture of myself. I'm going to put it on 10 seconds ISO 400. All right, let's go. All right, we got it. Now I'm just gonna flash my flashlight everywhere that I can to illuminate the scene around me. And I'm just moving it everywhere. This is gonna create some cool light painting effects. Alright, and this is what your camera's gonna look like when you're doing this. So, you're gonna wanna make sure that you do have a lens hood, because that will protect your lens significantly from water. And other than that, just make sure you have a good camera body that's gonna handle that. We have a soft box coming from my house. So, if we pull out, you can see that we have a unique scene here. And now you can light paint more with this flashlight, doing very cool landscapes with it. And I'll show you more pictures of that right now. We're back inside warming up. Warming up next to this soft box here. It's like a fireplace, but it's a uh, it's uh you know it's a little more high tech. <laughs> my hand is about to literally fall off of my wrist. That's how cold it was out there, and I had gloves on, and I also have um, ski pants on. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Let's see if I can slip and slide. Oh yeah. Extreme moves right there. Alright, so a really cool concept you can think about when you're taking pictures in the snow is that you have a ton of light to work with. Look at the sky. It's just nothing but this white void. It's just it's just pure light coming from every single direction above you and then what it does is all that light comes down it bounces off this snow which is again nothing but pure whiteness it's just this wow look at that I don't know if you saw that but a ton of snow just uh, fell off that tree 
The sky is just this huge, massive light source, and it pumps all this light down onto the ground, which again is like it acts like a big, massive reflector. So you have so much light, and all of it is very, very diffused, and it's very white. It's just this, it's like the most ultimate lighting conditions that you can be in. You want to make sure that your exposure is bright enough. Usually, if you just leave your camera on auto mode, straight up automatic, your exposure is going to look like this. If you try to take a per picture of a person, it's going to try to meter for the background. And then your subject's going to look dark. So what you have to do is bump up the exposure compensation so you get your subject that you want illuminated and not what your camera is just automatically picking out for you. There is my house up there and I am just zooming in through this white void of light that is just blasting you in the face because it's so bright. <laughs> um, yeah, I live on a Christmas tree farm. So thanks for watching my video. If you liked the one, the special effects one at nighttime, sign up on the photo extremist mailing list because I have an ebook there that gives a bunch of free tips on long exposures. And also if you like that, also really make sure you check out my ebook and video series called Trick Photography and Special Effects. Because in there, you can learn about pretty much anything you could think of about long exposures is covered in that ebook with lots of detail. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. So oh, yeah, another tip would be to actually wear uh, snowshoes when you're walking through this white void of brightness because if you're just wearing regular shoes, by the time you get back to your house, you're going to be soaking wet. It's like, uh, it's like that was meant to be there, just for me. Yep. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Eight inches. Wow, look at that. Freaking bird thing. Anyway.